And then there were three. These last three games of the regular season will tell us whether or not the Wofford Terriers have the stuff that Southern Conference champs are made of. First up, the Mercer Bears. Now keep in mind that since Mercer joined the SOCON back in 2014, they've never beaten Wofford, 0-5. But the last two games here at Five Star Stadium have been decided by one point apiece. Never an easy game here when you come down south. That is the backdrop for this Southern Conference showdown. You gotta go and gotta get done. All right, every guy in this room. We talk a lot about, you know, taking one game at a time. Today I want you guys to take one rep at a time. All right, when you guys take one rep at a time, man, just think about not only executing what you gotta execute, but how are you gonna make a play within that rep? All right, D-line, DBs, running back, quarterback, linebackers, the kickoff, the kickoff return. I mean, just think about what you're gonna do to step up and make a play. You guys with me? Yes, sir. Just stay sir. focused on that, all right? Against good teams, good things happen for both, right? Bad things happen for both. Just stay the course, continue to fight the fight, really for four quarters, and we're gonna like where we're at. You guys good on that? Yes, sir. You guys executed the last half of Clemson at a really high level. We need to go out this first half and the second half and bring it all together. You guys good on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First to 10, Wofford from their own 36. Morgan has it sweeping the right side. Turns the corner, sliced out of bounds after a good gain of about six. Puts Van Cleve in motion, hands it to him, sweeping right. First down and more for Demario Van Cleve across midfield, knocked out of bounds. Luke Carter on to attempt a 34-yard field goal. It's under it a little bit, but it makes its way through the uprights, and Wofford is on the board first to get ready to take the shotgun snap. He does, keeps it, rolls right, goes around the corner, steps out of bounds after about a six, maybe even a seven yard gate. Doe is back to pass. Now he'll roll to his left, he's got time. Throws left sideline, it's complete. Tapping his toe down and getting in bounds. Demorier Van Cleve all the way out to the 40 yard line. Newman rolls to his right, looking to throw long. He's got a man, it's complete. All the way down to the 25 yard line. Third and long, he's back to pass. Got some time, has to dump it off now. That's complete. Miles Richardson on the stop. It depends where the spot is. Six nothing Wofford here in the second quarter. Devison has a seam then. He's got room 40, 45. Trying to get out to midfield and he dives down at the 50 yard line. Time. Now they're taking their time and Riley's back to throw. He he loses the football as he goes back to throw. It's on the ground. Wofford recovers it. The question is, is it complete or incomplete? And the referees are saying incomplete as of now. Little reverse. Here comes Van Cleve. Short side of the field. 40, 35, 30. Down the sidelines. Did he stay in? Touchdown, Terriers. Riley in the shotgun. Short pass right. It is complete, held on. Newman rolls right, option right. Late pitch to Lovelace who juggles it but dances down the sideline and gets a good gain out of it. Time, first down and more for Lovelace. He's got a seam, 20, 10. Pay dirt for Ryan Lovelace. Touchdown, Terriers, and the route is on. Wofford leading 20 nothing is Riley on the keeper. Doesn't do this much, but gets across the 45, stumbles, keeps his feet, but still it'll be a, almost an eight yard gain. Devison again, off right tackle, got a hole, 45, excuse me, 35, down to the 34, another first down for Mercer. Fourth and one from the 10. Wofford with a 20 point lead. The handoff is to Devison, he's got the first down. Slung down after a gain of three. Keeps it, throws, complete, touchdown. Nice little pop pass over the middle. First and 10, Joe will throw. Complete pass left, it's Luther. Out across first down yardage, gets out of bounds, a 12 yard gain out to the 37. Second and 10 for the 17. Picking his way, nice gain. Morgan, first down and more out to the 40 yard line. Newman hands off, Lovelace has a crease. 15, 10, pulls his way, that's another first down. Lovelace up the middle, touchdown, he takes a bear and the referee into the end zone and Wofford is up 26 to seven. They'll hand it off, right tackle, Devison, nice run, five, eight. It's 
nine on that first down play. Finally dragged down by Beckett. So also where's number one? Devison. Boy, he stayed on his feet after absorbing an initial hit and got seven more yards. 37-yarder. That kick is up, and it's hooking. And it is no good off to the left. So missed field goal, good field position. He's back to pass. Newman, long left, middle of the field. Luther has it at the 40. Can he break away? No, but inside the 30 down to about the 27-yard line. Nathan Walker gets the call on second down, knocks over a bear, gets the first down, up in the pocket, throws it to the end zone, and that's a strike. Touchdown, Terriers. Jason Hill, 23-yard score. 37. Devison trying to sweep left, has to completely reverse his field, and is able to do so, gets positive yardage, and all of a sudden, Tyree Devison gets it out for about eight yards. The flow unable to keep up. Now Devison... Goes to the left side, breaks one tackle with a stiff arm. Another first down run. Snap, drops back. Blitz, goes down. Who did I say? Joe Beckett. Although there were about three Terriers there too. Richardson came. Uh, Mosley takes the handoff. Uh -oh. Breaks away. Came out of the pile and got the first down out to the 30-yard line. He drops back to pass. Blitz by Wofford, and he is going to go down right around the goal line. They're going to say he was in the field of play, so no safety, but about a half yard outside. So many Terriers there. As Walker gets the handoff on first down, right up the middle, bursting into the secondary. Down inside the 20, rolled over another Mercer player. Keeper on Mosley, up the middle. 10, 5, almost in, down to the one-yard line. He had a Miller's in the shotgun, high snap, gives it to Allen. Five, touchdown, Jaquez Allen wasn't even touched from six yards out, and the score balloons out to 40 to seven. Good snap, he's back to throw, Mason in on him again, and he will sack him. Another sack for Michael Mason. Give his, uh, Derek will keep it, and he's got the first down and more across midfield, look at those legs, scamper, of about 22 yards. The Wofford Terriers put it all together today. A 41 to seven win over the Mercer Bears. Here with coach Josh Conklin, we were saying in the broadcast booth, pretty much the whole game, that might be the best prepared team we've seen all season. Did you have a good feeling about that aspect going into this one? Yeah, no, we did. Um, felt like we had a pretty good idea as far as what they were going to do uh, from a defensive, you know, perspective. And then I thought our, our defensive staff really did a nice job um, of, of being prepared and, and having a really good idea as far as what we're going to expect and what we're going to see by formation. So wasn't as clean some some of it as we would have liked, especially starting the second half. But we overcame those, um, and we're in a good spot. Defense sets the tone early with a couple of three and outs. We knew the offense was kind of get on untracked, and, and they certainly did. But boy, the defense, I think 141 total yards, and almost half of that came on their one scoring drive at, near the end of the first half. Yeah. That defensive af effort is, is something to crow about. Yeah, no, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, I've, and I've been, <laughs> I'm on those guys pretty hard right now. You know, we weren't real happy about the Clemson game as far as how we played. And, and I get that, you know, who they were, but we just have a really high high level of expectation around here. Um, we want to play at a really high level on defense, especially. And um, Coach Seifkus and Coach McCray, Coach Green, Coach Smith, um, all those guys did a tremendous job. And, and they uh, stepped up to the challenge. You're one and oh in unofficial playoff games right now. And it sets up everything we've been talking about. How long do you give these guys uh, to celebrate this one before we get ready for purple coming to town next weekend? Yeah, I mean, they'll enjoy it tonight. Obviously, we'll get back in the uh, office tomorrow and we'll get a chance to watch some of the tape and get the things correct that we need to get corrected. The biggest thing, I think, for us to play championship level football is we're executing at a really high level right now. We just got to make sure that we're not hurting ourselves or beating ourselves with penalties and, and some of those um, things that, you know, I didn't think it was um, all of us with the penalties, um, but some of the things that we can take care of, we got to take care of. Well, for you, <laughs> you uh, you got at the end zone twice. The entire offense was clicking so, so well. What does it feel like to run the ball behind uh, an offensive line and a system that, that's playing that well? Um, it's phenomenal. Like, our O-line, they've been playing so well. They've been doing so well since the start of the season, and I'm just happy to be a part of their production up, the, up front. They really don't get as much credit as they should, especially on my first touchdown. That was huge. Berger made a huge block in the open field, along with Blake came around. So it was 
focus that you guys played with today was was great, especially because we know it's looming up the road. How are you guys able to block out all the noise and just focus on 60 minutes of football? Um, it's kind of just within ourselves. We kind of make sure, like, especially the older kids, we kind of remind the younger, make sure we focus on the next game because that's most important. Every game is huge for us because everything is important and we know how much is on the line every time we play on Saturdays. So we kind of remind everybody that we need this. Excited about next week? Yes, we are. <laughs> Very excited. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, next week. The reason we can talk about Furman coming to town is partially because the Terriers rolled up 558 yards of total offense and held Mercer to just about 140. So the first playoff game in Josh Conklin vernacular is over. The big one looms Saturday. You want to get that popcorn early and get out to Gibbs Stadium, Wofford and Furman for Southern Conference supremacy next weekend. For Inside Wofford Football, I'm Jim Noble.